Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you all the things you can do with your Gatewise management portal. Uh, it gives you quite a bit of control over your community. Um, so first you're going to go to gatewise.com and then click new portal. You will have a login that we will provide for you. Go ahead and log in. Um, and it'll bring you to all your communities. So if you're a community manager, you'll probably just have the one community. But if you're a regional manager, you might have three or four, all of the communities in your portfolio. So click on your community. The first page it'll bring you to is the users page. This is where you add and remove residents. Uh, now, all you got to do to add somebody is click invite member. You can invite a resident, staff, or non-resident. Uh, all you have to do is put in their name apartment number and phone number. Um, and they're instantly added to the system. Uh, so no, no wait time or anything. Um, and then when you want to delete somebody, just search their name. Let's say Abby is moving out. Click this little red button right here and it will instantly delete Abby from the system. So um, it's very easy to add and remove people. It takes about 15 seconds and they are instantly either added into or removed from the community. All right, now let's go look at the gates and doors. You can manage each access point individually. You can do things like change the icon that shows up in the app. So if it's a car gate, it'll show a little car icon on the app. A gym, it'll show a dumbbell. Or pool, it'll show a little pool icon. Uh, so you can change the icon in the app. You can change the name, main gate, left gate, right gate, pool gate, fitness center, gym, Whatever you want to call it, you can name it anything you want. You can also change uh, kind of the security level. So typically for car gates, you want people to be able to open the gate from anywhere. Because if somebody's letting their guest in, they're going to be up in their apartment sitting on their couch. They press the button for the car gate and it'll open the gate for their guest. Um, but if it's, let's say it's a gym, let's say this is the gym. Uh, you might not want people to just open the gym from anywhere, right? You want people to be right in front of the gym because uh, you don't want people letting, you know, non-residents into the gym. So for the gym, you're going to uncheck this box typically. Uh, and same with this box. Uh, this allow share box allows your residents to send a text message to their guests. Uh, and that text message has a link. When the guest gets the link, they click the link. Uh, and it'll open the access point for them. Uh, and that works for 24 hours and then it stops working. Um, so typically for amenities, uh, people uncheck these two boxes. And typically for car gates, they check them both because they want people to be able to let their guests in the car gate. Now, let's say your gym is under construction. You might want to uncheck this box. What this does is if you uncheck this box, the button for the gym will no longer show up in the app. So if the gym's under construction or any access point you need to uh, basically restrict residents from going in, you just uncheck this box, the button won't show up in the app and nobody will be able to go in. Now, let's go back uh, to the car gate. You can also choose a schedule. So a lot of times people leave their car gates open in the morning when everyone's going to work from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. Um, and that way, you know, everyone going to work, the car gates open, all the traffic flows smoothly, and there's very little wear and tear on your gate. Now, um, same thing with the gym. A lot of times people um, have a schedule. Maybe their gym is only open until midnight. So, you know, when is this accessible for residents? Uh, let me choose. And now you can choose your own schedule. So you can set a schedule for each individual access point. Um, so for all your access points, you can choose, um, you know, any type of schedule and different levels of security for each, just whatever your community needs. And as you'll see here, Gatewise also does work for elevators. So pedestrian gates, amenity doors, car gates, and even elevators. Additionally, uh, you have an access log which shows every single time anybody opens the gate. So it shows you who's opening the gate, the date and time, uh, and which access point they are opening. And if you need to look at one specific person's um, activity, you can search them by name, and boom, you can see all the times that they are opening any gates or doors. Now let's talk about groups. 
Let's say you have certain residents that need access to certain areas, but other residents shouldn't go in those areas. You can put them in a group. So this group has access to the gate and pool only. This gate group has access to the gate, mail room, and gym only. Uh, just certain communities, the way they're set up, they have certain residents that can go certain places, but they don't want them to go other places. So that's why we made the group feature. And last uh, is if you have any residents uh, that do not own a smartphone, we can provide them with a remote, which you can control from here uh, to activate or deactivate as needed. Um, and if you have any other questions about other things you can do or how does this feature or that feature work, please do not hesitate to give me a call. My direct line is 205-527-6702. And my email is john at gatewise.com. Is J O H N at gatewise.com. Uh, so please give me a shout if you have any questions about how any of this works. I'd be happy to go through everything with you. Uh, and thank you. You guys have a great day.